வெல்கம் டு ஹெச் டு கே இன்ஃபோசிஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்டர் லெட் ஃபேஸ் டு ஃபேஸ் ட்ரூ லைவ் ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸஸ் வித் கிளவுட் டெஸ்ட் லேப் பெட்டர் தேன் ஆன்சைட் ட்ரைனிங் கிளாஸஸ் வாட் இஸ் ரிக்ரேஷன் டெஸ்டிங் வர்சஸ் ரீடெஸ்டிங் Let's take an example on Amazon.com. Here we have multiple features like view open order, digital orders, reports and etc. Okay. So let's see what is the retesting. It is very important to use the specific terminology based on the scenario in software QA testing. because the meanings sound similar so what is re- retesting retesting is carried out to verify the functionality after the defect is fixed retesting involves executing the test cases that failed earlier if you take an example here on amazon.com let's assume we found a defect on view open orders after we find the defect as a qa tester we assign the defect to the developers developer fixed the defect and qa tester has to retest this feature view open orders to make sure the defect is fixed here we are retesting the specific feature after defect is fixed which was failed before the test case now what is regression testing and why regression means repeat so when we do repeat testing testing the existing functionality again which was working before is regression testing regression testing is to check if the defect fixes have not impacted other functionality of the application that was working before applying the code changes to fix the defects in this example here in amazon.com we found a defect on open orders this code fix should not impact other features related to the orders so we might find uh, maybe two or three defects on this orders window so after all the code changes to fix these defects we may have to do regression testing on existing features like digital orders was working before but we need to test this again make sure the code changes the defect fixes not impacting the existing working functionality that is why we have to do regression testing on existing feature again after all the defects are fixed and another reason we do regression testing let's assume we have a new feature added black friday deals there is a new functionality new feature added black friday deals we test these new features make sure the new features are working also the new features we added on the existing functionality the existing features should not impact that is why we do regression testing on existing functionality to make sure the new features are not impacting the existing features also any new patches installed or any new configuration changes made to the existing application QA tester should perform regression testing on related modules or entire project based on the changes let's uh, take a small brief architecture of the amazon.com we have to see like amazon.com front end is java html jsp and uh, it is running on web services 
middleware technology and back end is java jte and database oracle database running on linux machine regression testing is generic and may not be always specific to any defect fix or code change regression testing also can be done if any changes made to the system let's assume the amazon database is running on sun solaris before now it is migrated to red hat linux so as you see this architecture database was running on sun solaris now we migrated to red hat linux so in this scenario we need to perform regression testing on major functionalities to make sure the migration from sun solaris to linux should not impact the features so we can give multiple scenarios like this Maybe I, Amazon.com is running on WebSphere application server. If they migrated to JBoss, even there is no functionality changes. Still, we need to do regression testing. Make sure the migration from WebSphere to JBoss should not is not impacting the functionality. So there are multiple scenarios we do regression testing. So when regression testing should be performed perform regression test on major functionality of entire application after complete testing the new features and defect fixes regression testing can be done for each build depends on the project and the deadlines schedules in the agile methodology builds are deployed daily and weekly basis we can perform regression test either daily or weekly if we have any automation test scripts regression test cases what to test in regression testing regression testing can be specific to a module of a project or for complete project full regression testing Let us assume we have 500 test cases to test amazon.com. So choose important test cases or major functionality of the project. Test case that covers all the necessary components, modules and related to the defect fixes should include. It may also include testing the performance of the application. It also depends on the project deadlines. If we have automation test scripts we can perform regression testing on all 500 test cases in agile methodology builds are deployed daily weekly basis so automation test scripts can be executed daily weekly on every new build most of the companies are using automation tools like hp quick test pro qtp selenium ruby watair cucumber silk test rational robot and many more tools for regression testing to save time hp qtp is one of the more popular tool so we at h2k infosys provide advanced level training in qtp and selenium please visit h2kinfosys.com for more information also you can visit our forums and blogs at h2k infosys we always try to give real time examples for every topic just now we watched all the information about real scenarios how we can do regression testing where you can do when you can do all the complete architecture of the application So to overview of regression testing, new functionality added to the existing application, maybe middleware migrations, operating system migration, web server, app server migrations, database migrations, or defect fixed. 
So once the defects are fixed, retest the fail test cases and regression testing on fun functionality which was already working before to verify the code changes not affecting the existing functionality. Competitive edge for H2K. Please visit h2kinfosys.com for more information. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our website and uh, give us your comments. Thank mm -hmm. you.